Well, good evening, everyone. Uh, I hope you can hear me. And for those who join us via Zoom, uh, welcome as well. We are living in very strange times, and I don't think I've ever had a midnight mass uh, like this with uh, virtually uh, not quite an empty church. Uh, but I always think that wherever there's a gap, there's probably a couple of angels as well. So we are joined, uh, as the Eucharistic prayer will say, by angels and archangels. So actually the church is full. Just think of it in that joyful way. So welcome to this first Eucharist of Christmas. We will hear first the verse, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. As you know, you cannot sing, but during the singing, uh, those in the choir uh, will sing that first verse, and I will then move to the crib to put uh, the baby Jesus in the crib and say uh, a few prayers there. So please remain standing for the moment. Welcome all, wonder in one sight, eternity shut in span, summer in winter, day in night, heaven in earth and God in man. Great little one whose all embracing birth brings earth to heaven, stoops heaven to earth. Dear friends, as we meet to celebrate the birth of Christ, let us pray that God will bless this crib that all who worship his son, born of the Virgin Mary, may come to share his life in glory. So even as the bambino is placed in the crib, so I will bless this crib and may it be a sense of hope for all who view this, uh, well, this channel uh, following this service on Zoom. So we pray, God our Father, on this night, your Son, Jesus Christ, was born of the Virgin Mary for us and for our salvation. Bless this crib, which we have prepared to celebrate that holy birth. May all who see it be strengthened in faith and receive the fullness of life he came to bring, who is alive and reigns forever. Amen.
Now, as Anne lights the Christ candle, uh, we will say, I will remain standing for the prayer. Let us pray. Lord, you came as a tiny, fragile baby. Yet we know that you are God and you are with us. May the flame of this candle remind us that you are the light of the world and that if we follow you, we will never walk in darkness, but will have the true light of life. Maranatha, come, Lord Jesus. Amen. So we come to the liturgical greeting. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Grace and peace be with you and keep you in the love of Christ. Grace and peace be with you and keep you in the love of Christ. At Gadudi and Harriet Christ. We gather in awe to pause at so wondrous a mystery that the Son of God became one with us in flesh. Let us re raise grateful hearts to God and open ourselves to the mystery before us. And so we pray, Father of glory, holy and eternal, look upon us now in power and mercy. May your strength overcome our moods, your radiance transform our blindness, and your spirit draw us to that love, shown and offered to us by your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Please be seated. Christ, the light of the world, has come to dispel the darkness of our hearts. In his light, let us examine ourselves and confess our sins. Lord Jesus, mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord, have mercy. We say together, Heavenly Father, we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, and have failed to do what we ought to have done. We are sorry and truly repent for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past, and lead us in his way to walk as children of light. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on you and set you free from sin. Strengthen you in goodness and keep you in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We do not sing, but we will stand to say the Gloria. It's the first time we've actually said the Gloria uh, since before Advent, so it's wonderful to say it again. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The collect for today, the first Mass of Christmas. Let us pray. Eternal God, who made this most holy night to shine with the brightness of your one true light, Bring us who have known the revelation of that light on earth to see the radiance of your heavenly glory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated for the readings. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onwards and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. This is the word of the Lord. The response to the psalm is, O oh, praise the Lord, Alleluia. O oh, praise the Lord, Alleluia. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Tell out his salvation from day to day. O oh, praise the Lord, Alleluia. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is more to be feared than all gods. O oh, praise the Lord. Alleluia. Tell it out among the nations that the Lord is king. He has made the world so firm that it cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. O oh, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Let the fields be joyful and all that is in them. Let all the trees of the wood shout for joy before the Lord, for he comes, he comes to judge the earth. With righteousness he will judge the world and the peoples with his truth. O oh, praise the Lord, hallelujah. A reading from the letter of Paul to Titus. The grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions, and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright, and godly, while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Saviour, Jesus Christ. He it is who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify for himself a people of his own. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks. 
Please stand for the gospel reading. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory. Hallelujah. Listen to the gospel of Christ according to St. Luke. Glory to you, Lord. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration I was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bond bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those whom he favours. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all of these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. This is the gospel of the Lord. May I speak in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Please be seated. Well, it is, as I said, a very strange uh, time and days that we're living in. Well, as you probably noticed on the, the news today, uh, Brexit is finally done. So, hoo-hoo, that's one thing sorted. But I also heard that Prince Charles and Camilla had recorded a special reading of the poem, It Was the Night Before Christmas with a few very famous friends invited to Clarence House to help them. And as you probably know, uh, there was Judy Dench, Dame Maggie Smith, Daniel Craig, uh, Joanna Lumley, Tom Hardy, uh, Penelope Keith. My goodness, you know, the list goes on. Each recorded sections in a COVID safe way. Yes, this is the year of COVID. So what I'm going to do is actually read uh, a version of it was the night before christmas it's a covid version i was a little bit american because i couldn't quite find the english version i did have a little hunt but i couldn't quite catch it so so bear with me when there's a few americanisms in there but i think it sums up a little bit of this year it was the night before christmas when all through the house not a creature was maskless not even a mouse the sourdough starter was being fed with care in hope that the perfect loaf soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds with visions of TikTok swirling in their heads and mum at her computer reviewing the earnings 
while I try to swallow another year of virtual learning. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my Zoom call to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, first putting on trousers, even tying the sash. The outside world looked oh, so enticing. After nine months of quarantine, had been nothing but dicey. When what to my wondering eyes did appear, but a miniature sleigh, an eight socially distant reindeer, with a white bearded driver dressed in full PPE, I knew in a moment that it must be COVID free. They posed for a selfie, holding their phones with a stick. This quarantine pod had grown pretty thick. Now Dasha, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet on, Cupid, on Donna and Blitzen, Wash your hooves, scrub them well. Now wash away, wash away, wash away. Sparkling clean and brimming with gear, they jetted up the rooftop to ring in good cheer. The sleigh was filled with Clorox wipes and paper towels, sanitizers, toilet paper, and all purpose flour. Then old Saint Nick, not wasting any time, shouted, gotta make this quick. I'm also a driver for Amazon Prime. He sprang to his sleigh, gathering his crew, and with one spritz of pearl, away they all flew. But I heard him explain, or exclaim, he drove out of sight, a very COVID-free Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Well, I, I couldn't resist reading that out, because I think it sums up this last year, hasn't it? And we've all got used to the very strange world in which we live. For churches, many have closed their doors for yet a second time, streaming their Christmas services. And here we are Zooming this night, uh, following the service tomorrow morning uh, on Christmas Day. We will then close the doors of uh, this church and we will go on Zoom. So get used to it, folks. We're going back to our little squares and calling out mute, mute, unmute, unmute. <laughs> Well, we are in turbulent times, all worrying. But let's think of that holy family. Mary and Joseph, they traveled a hard, a dangerous road. Mary and Joseph had their lives turned upside down. They must have faced many worries and hardships. Who would want to walk 90 miles through dangerous country when you're expecting a child? But with God's strength, guidance, they did succeed. They arrived, yes, at a filthy inn. For many, this is a sad time, lonely and worrying. And it was good to hear, I don't know whether you heard, but the bell was rung by Phil today for those who were lonely. Uh, the, the church bell was rung just to remind people they're not alone. Many frontline workers have been suffering from exhaustion. Teachers, parents, all worried about the disruption to their children's education. And we all know those who have struggled financially, those who have been furloughed. Every year, every year we hear the Christmas story. But I think more the, than any other year, we need to be reminded about the simplicity of Christmas. This year has been stripped back, hasn't it? Uh, no full church of children from the school singing, none of that, no carol services. It comes back to what is the essential of Christmas? It's really all about Jesus, God with us, Emmanuel. That's why we celebrate Christmas, all about that first Christmas when that babe was born. Jesus, God's son, came willingly from heaven in great humility to become flesh and blood to show God's love and heart for the world. He came to bring hope, love, joy and peace. He came from heaven to this broken, this fragmented world. This is the gospel message. 
The people who have walked in darkness have seen a great light. And those who live in a land of deep darkness, even them, light has shined. Yes, God has brought hope to us. God is with you, he's with me. Into this world of sin and death he came 2,000 years ago and now. Into grief and sorrow, terror and shame, then and now. God has mingled time and the fullness of eternal joy into the person of the fully human and fully divine Jesus. God has entered fully into the place for all of us. Today is born our Saviour, the Promised One. So this is a night when each of us who takes the time to gaze into the face of that in infant Jesus, be encouraged and see the light of hope, the power of courage. Jesus has the spirit of wisdom, understanding, counsel, power, knowledge. My goodness, what a wonderful saviour. Well, I'm going to conclude with a quote from my boss. That's the Archbishop of Canterbury. <laughs> He wrote uh, his Christmas message to all the churches in the Anglican Communion. And as you know, here we have very strong links with uh, the, the church out in the High Veld. And this is what he's, he's written. We're all in such a different place. There have been some common features, the economic downturn, COVID in many, many countries. The common feature in which I rejoice is that you and we have reached out to Jesus Christ. And he has responded, and the sign of that response has been the heroism, the strength, the brilliance of the way that so many of us have lived. So as we come towards the end of this year, to Christmas and the new year, my prayer is that God strengthens all of us to love one another, to love our neighbors, and to carry the love of Christ into a world that more and more shows its need of the salvation news, of repentance, of change. So may God give you, in whatever circumstances you are, a wonderful Christmas, a Christmas in which you know his love. And may he protect you and guard you and us in unity and hope in this coming year. Amen. We take a moment or two to uh, respond to God personally, perhaps in some of the passages of scripture that resonates with you. And then we will come to say the words of the creed together. Please stand to say the words of the creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, 
and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Please be seated for the intercessions. Father, in this holy night, your Son, our Saviour, was born in human flesh. Renew your church as the body of Christ. Lord, in your mercy. In this holy night, there was no room for your Son in the inn. Protect with your love those who have no home all who live in poverty, the lost, the lonely, and those unable to meet with friends and family. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. in this holy night, Mary, in the pain of labour, brought your son to birth. Hold in your hand all who are in pain or distress. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. In this holy night, your Christ came as a light shining in the darkness. Bring comfort to Joan Edwards, Coralie Wilson, Ken, Mandy, and Richard Williams, for all who are ill at home or in hospital, and all who suffer in the sadness of our world. Lord, in your mercy. In this holy night the angels sang, peace to God's people on earth. Strengthen those who work for peace and justice in all the world. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. In this holy night, shepherds in the field heard good tidings of joy. Give us grace to preach the gospel of Christ's redemption. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. In this holy night, strangers found the Holy Family and saw the baby lying in the manger. Bless our homes and all whom we love. Lord, in your mercy. In this holy night, heaven is come down to earth and earth is raised to heaven. Hold in your hand, Robert Ag and Anne Stevens, and all those who have passed through death in the hope of your coming kingdom. Lord, in your mercy. In this holy night, Christians the world over celebrate Christ's birth. Open our hearts that he may be born in us today. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Father, in this holy night, angels and shepherds worshipped at the manger throne. Receive the worship we offer in fellowship with Mary, Joseph, and the saints, through him who is your word made flesh, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. 
Amen. Well, we come to uh, the words of the piece. Uh, usually, this is where I, I would normally lose the congregation because you all go around in one another hug and I'll be gone there for like the next sort of 10 minutes. But uh, we need to remain in our seats so we can give them another a wave, and uh, that'll be to those joining us on Zoom as well. So, if you want to stand for the piece, uh, as traditionally, also it gives you a bit of exercise as well. <laughs> this holy night the angels sang, glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to all in whom he delights. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer one another a sign of God's peace, or a little wave to one another, and if you can recognize each other behind those <laughs> masks, please do so. Now, that's wonderful. Look, you can be seated uh, while the uh, hymn is sung. There is no monetary collection, none of that. Uh, so you just hear the choir sing as I prepare the
Uh, I should be on. As usual, we tried to have a sort of uh, few technical problems. Hopefully, you can now hear me. So please remain seated during the Eucharistic prayer. We celebrate together the gifts and the grace of God. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right, it is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty, Everlasting God, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord. And now we give you thanks because by the power of the Holy Spirit, he took our nature upon him and was born of the Virgin Mary, that being himself without sin, he might make us clean from all sin. Therefore, with angels and archangels, with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, 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 God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hear us, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, through him accept our sacrifice of praise and grant that by the power of your Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be for us his body and his blood. Who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink from this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shared for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Therefore, Father, remembering the saving death and resurrection of your Son, we offer to you in thanksgiving this bread and this cup, your gifts to us. And we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send your Holy Spirit upon all of us who share this bread and this cup. Strengthen our faith, make us one, and welcome us and all your people into the glorious kingdom of your Son, through him, in him, with him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Rejoicing in the presence of God here among us, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, for we all share in one bread. God, here among us, light in the midst of us, 
bring us to light and life. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us this peace. Come, let us receive the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ given for us and feed on him in our hearts by faith with thanksgiving. We receive in one kind only, and I will bring communion to you, uh, the host only. So please uh, remain where you're seated. The blood of Christ.
Well, that was wonderful. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, we will sing, um, well, you won't, the, <laughs> the choir will. Uh, the o Come Holy Faithful as a recessional, I think we'll, we'll uh, move that from the order of service. Uh, it's always good to give a few notices and uh, can I just, on behalf of everybody, um, the clergy team, uh, Reverend Wendy obviously isn't with us at the moment, but uh, I'm sure that she uh, wishes to uh, wish you a very, very Merry Christmas. And I did see her yesterday, actually, and um, I, I popped around to see her. And uh, yes, got her hands full, that's all I say. <laughs> this was uh, wonderful. Uh, for all of you, please stay safe. And uh, Hopefully, I'll see some of you on a little square in the, the next sort of uh, couple of weeks. Uh, just to say, um, we are here as a ministry team for you. Uh, always at the end of a phone call, uh, an email, a knock on the door. Can I just say, I, it's been wonderful having so many cakes. Uh, I was given some more things again today and uh, had a load of cakes yesterday. So I'm doing fine, actually, <laughs> really well. Uh, just, just to also thank, uh, as usual, uh, Phil, who's uh, man in the desk at the at the moment, and Tim, uh, Tim singing, as you can see today, but also for uh, Julius, who's been working very hard uh, with Lyndon to, you know, try and get the choir going again, and, and thanks to Graham, who's also given that that wonderful input as well to. Uh, it's very hard for any choir to keep going during these times, but uh, it's wonderful to hear uh, some of the singing. Can I just say that following this uh, service, uh, you will be taken uh, and guided out, uh, and I can have a chat with you outside, but please remain in your seats until you are uh, taken out by the stewards. Not carried, but guided out. You might be carried out later on this evening, I don't know. <laughs> so, shall we just uh, come to the final 
uh, part of the service, the sending out, and then we will uh, listen to the wonderful, glorious hymn, which will be very hard not to join in. So you might be humming in your pews as well. Uh, for those on Zoom, you can sing as loud as you can at home. <laughs> we just can't do that in the church. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is gracious. God, our Father, in this night you have made known to us again the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Confirm our faith and fix our eyes on him until the day dawns to Christ the morning star rises in our hearts. The Lord be with you. May the Father, who has loved the eternal Son from before the foundation of the world, shed that love upon you, his children. May Christ, who by his incarnation gathered into one thing, earthly and heavenly, fill you with joy and peace. May the Holy Spirit, by whose overshadowing Mary became the God-bearer, give you grace to carry the good news of Christ. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you this most holiest of nights and always. Go in peace to proclaim the word made flesh. Glory, thanks, and praise to God. Amen.
ठीक है